All right, everyone, we are heading to Cancun, Mexico, and we're going to take you with us. We are still in Dallas at our home hotel. We will show you uh, leaving, the entire journey there. We're leaving obnoxiously early. Yep, it's early in the morning. <laughs> of course, we will review restaurants, all those kind of things that we always do. So buckle up. And uh, here we go, off to Cancun. We are at DFW now, heading into the terminal. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta interrupt you. We should take a picture of this spot where our car is parked. Good idea, so we know where to come back to. We're at the gate waiting for our plane. Nicole has her... You have to get me while I'm chewing. She has her Starbucks. Yes, I do. We have landed and we are on our way to immigration. Okay, I have converted dollars into pesos and we are heading out to our ride. Cancun's weird. When you arrive in Cancun, you can't, I'm right here, man. You can't take a cab. You have to either pay for a bus or you can get vans or uh, small vehicles to take you to your hotel. You can buy them out here, the ride, or you can pay for it online in advance, which is what we did. So we gotta go find our van and uh, get our ride to the hotel. All right, we have located our van. Our guy is taking our luggage and we'll be on the road to the hotel shortly. All right, this is our van. Wow, we got a big one. <laughs> I don't know if we need a van this big. Just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, $45 for this ride. So yeah, $45 for this big van. And it's just us, isn't that right? inside the hotel at the lobby and we're going to check in here in just a second now I have hat hair. and now you have hat hair but here's a look at the lobby a lot of purple isn't it purple is your favorite color isn't it yes. anyway yeah so uh, we're gonna check in right now now the hotel we're staying at is the Ryu Palace Peninsula Here's a look at it from the front. This is an all-inclusive hotel. That means everything is included up front with the price we paid. All food, all drinks, including alcohol, 
Uh, they have a coffee bar similar to a Starbucks. They have an ice cream shop. It's all included, including tipping. Now we'll still throw a few bucks at everybody as we're here. But they have, uh, let's see, seven, I think, if I remember correctly. Upscale restaurants. They have a buffet that runs from seven in the morning till 10 at night. So you can just walk in and grab food all day. As soon as you get to Munchies or you want something to eat. They have a sports bar that is open 24 hours that serves food and alcohol 24 hours a day. Uh, at night, three in the morning, you get the munchies, they'll have hot dogs, hamburgers, bar food, that kind of thing there. Uh, let's see, what else? Well, we're gonna show you everything, let's put it that way. Um, and after we have shown you everything, I'll show you the invoice so you can see what it costs. Uh, you might be surprised uh, how much you get for the price. This is the main tower and all the swimming pools are right here. There are several, including a swim up bar. We are actually in this section here, which is the adults only VIP section. We didn't book that, but we got it given to us automatically because we are platinum members with Expedia. To get that status, you have to book 30 hotels or more a year through Expedia, which obviously we do, you guys know that. All right, we are in room 2103. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, so, um, it's got a tub in the room. It's got a jet tub, but why do I not have like a door around me? I don't know. Yeah. Is the bath in front of you? Yeah, it's right out in the open there. Anyway, Kima, bed. I don't know, I don't bathe in front of you. And they've got a little spot here. There's a little refrigerator in there. Oh, they do have your refrigerator. They have a bar. All this is included, by the way. You don't pay extra for any of this. Oh, my. So they've got liquor there. They've got mixed And they refill, yeah, mm. they refill this every day. It's got in water there. and soda. And it's not cheap liquor. It's Cuervo and Bacardi, beef eater. Oh, yeah. It's pretty decent stuff. All right, so then there's like a little sitting area here. And nice with a big. desk. I feel like the bed's even bigger than King. Is there something bigger than King? Because if there is, that's the size of the bed. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't know. I think maybe. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a hot tub here. Patio with a hot tub. Yeah, we're getting in that. And we're on the first floor, so totally this. this part of the hotel is the VIP area. Oh, we get, oh, like so we have our own it. swimming pool right out front. Yeah. Alright, so there's that. Oh, and yeah. show you the bathroom. Now everything's out in the open. I don't know how crazy I am about that, but yeah, there's the bathroom area. No doors. And uh, the shower, it has a door at least. So we've got a shower, a tub with jets. All right, that oh, is the room. Gonna... Gosh, they knew me, they wouldn't put this in the room. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a bit dangerous, isn't it? Anyway, we're gonna have ourselves a little shot before we uh, oh, there do you other go. stuff. Oh, there you go, it's working. That's plenty. Tell me when. That's plenty. Okay. We drunk before the night's even over. We just ate a whole bunch of food. Yeah. All right. All right, so. Oh, that's cool. Huh? That's how it works. Wow, that is a huge no, shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna split it with you. All right, all right. All right, well, there we go. To the first day of AK. Woo mm -hmm. oh, yeah. This is the view from our pool, uh, right from our room. Our room is right there. <laughs> that is our room right there on the bottom floor. So we are going to hang out today, spend the afternoon here at the pool, yep. and get some sun. Yes, sir. Right? Yep.
They can't be drinking the water, can they? They don't drink water. It's pool water, do they? I don't know. Are you asking me? I have no Maybe clue. someone in the comments can tell us. So I have no they look clue. like maybe they're just washing their beaks. <laughs> I think. They probably are. All right, tonight we are going to have dinner at the steakhouse. We can tell it's the best place here. Here is the menu. Appetizer, Caesar salad, crab cake. Ribeye steak. Anyway, uh, so did you order an appetizer yet? I haven't ordered anything. You didn't order anything. Okay. What do you want for appetizer? Caesar salad. Is that what you want? You can have crab cake if you want. We can each have one. No, no. Caesar salad sounds great. All right. So that's what we're going to have for appetizer. And we'll go from there. Caesar salad. Yeah. You got a Caesar salad too. But he's bringing you some crab cakes, right? Oh, yes. I love crab cakes. Because you wanted crab cakes. I want crab cakes. Here is the crab cake Nicole requested as an appetizer. I did. I did. Looks a little more fried than I'm used to, but um, I'm going to give it a try and see how it tastes. Okay. Dig in, hi. Hi. Our entrees are here. I'm having New York strip medium rare. With a little bit of mashed potatoes, broccoli, asparagus, a couple of cherry tomatoes, and something purple right here. It's so pretty, I don't want to disturb it to eat it, but I'm going to. And we have some fries. We've had those already, they're fantastic. You are having the ribeye. Ribeye. We'll find out. But I'm thinking mine's going to be better. Oh, I think mine's going to be better. So uh, anyway, we're going to dig in. I don't know what they season these steaks with, but it is incredible. <laughs> it's so good. I can't stop. I can't stop. It's so good. I know. I am so full right now. They keep cramming us with food here. Yeah, I can't eat anymore. I'm going to have one more bite and... Uh, Sorry guys, no dessert tonight. Uh, we, we're too full, both of us. Now this is the morning buffet for breakfast. They have a huge selection. <laughs> Pretty much every kind of food imaginable that you can get for breakfast, including people making fresh eggs for you. That's uh, French toast, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, they'll have people making fresh eggs and pancakes, that kind of thing, if you want. If you don't want something off the buffet. Lots and lots of choices. I'm going to have a small breakfast. Got some bacon, potatoes that are drowned in onions, my favorite way. Over easy eggs, and some fresh orange juice. Orange juice down here in Mexico is always incredible. We are uh, out on the beach. I'll show you that real quick. Uh, there's the hotel. There is some rocky areas to the beach. And in, in this direction there are, or there is a smooth area of the beach where there aren't any rocks. We'll head over that way. There are several swimming pools here. Here's one. This is the main beach for the resort. And uh, yeah, some water. Access to the beach here. Oh, some seaweed in there. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the seaweed. They've been having a seaweed problem here. Yeah, there's quite a bit. Looks like they're trying to clean it up. Yeah, doesn't smell that good either, does it? No, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to come down here either. Looks like we are going to be sticking with swimming pool. <laughs> sure is pretty here though. They have a guy here who does a dance class all day. And there's Nicole. 
I don't have the energy for it, I freely admit, but she does. One of the swimming pools here at the resort. And then of course, the thing that Mexico does better than anybody else in my opinion, the swimmer bar. Yes, hang out at the pool and get soused. You don't even have to get out. <laughs> A great invention in my opinion. Even have tables out here. We will be at this pool before it's over and we'll show you a video of course. On the other side they have a regular bar if you don't want to get in the water. Uh, so you can get a drink from this side. Very close to the ocean, the Caribbean. Uh, let's see, as I walk over here, let me zoom in on this in the distance. That is Isla Mujeres, which is a fantastic place in itself. Cancun is very polished and cosmopolitan, modern. Isla Mujeres is like old Mexico, very small island. In time, we will be doing a video over there. All right, we are at the lunch buffet. Let me show you what all they have. Lots of salad choices, fresh sandwiches. They've got some guys back there making meat, fish, hot dogs, hamburgers, potatoes, french fries. They're all here. Macaroni and cheese. A bunch of seafood here. This is the dessert selection. Yeah, lots of desserts. I mean, everything under the sun. Yeah, lots of fruit too. Over here, they have a taco bar, so you can get fresh made tacos, all you, all kinds of tacos and Mexican food, and you can get that fresh made. Here is Italian, so you can get pizza and different Italian dishes. She'll make some fresh pasta for you. And of course they have a machine or area with Cokes, that kind of thing. Water, tea. Yeah? What? I don't know. Get a plate, try it. Next to the dessert bar, they have all kinds of ice cream. Lots of ice cream that you can no, that's all different kinds of ice cream with sprinkles. I mean, they taste different when you get it from the US. Does this taste different? No, it tastes like regular ice cream to me. Cones if you want. More ice cream here. Sherbet. Yeah, it's really good. Lots of good stuff here. I got a huge variety of stuff. A salad. You might have. I got a salad. I got watermelon. I got pepperoni pizza. Got some pork and uh, filet of steak, lamb, got a oh, beef I tostado. Too, I don't know if I've ever had lamb before, this I is a did you? I got grilled ham and cheese. Oh, thank you. These fried potatoes are fantastic. I've already had them. Oh, really? Yeah, and then uh, some sushi. What did you get? A, I got a lot of salad, but I also got some sushi, and uh, I got lamb in here somewhere, and then I've got chicken. I got all the I got all the meats that were in that in that area. I got like okay. steak. Steak, chicken, lamb, um, and they had something else too. Oh. Well. So I figured I'll try all the meats. Looks good. Uh, we're going to dig in. I got some dessert. Here in Mexico, the dessert makers are artists. I mean, look at that. Kiwi tort. That's a brownie. I'm not sure what these are. They just look really pretty. They are pretty. So I'm going to have one. All right, I'm having some ice cream as well. This is Neapolitan. We got almond, oh. chocolate chip, and chocolate. Oh, okay. Yeah, and those desserts were fantastic. Now here in the shadow of the main tower are the two areas where they have a show every night. Seven nights a week, they put on a show here. Entertainment. Yeah. Uh, this is indoor if it's raining. 
Of course, this is outdoor if, if the weather is nice. Pretty good shows every night. We will show you at least one of them, or some of one of them, <laughs> before the video's over. There are two bars here, one right there. Excellent. Yeah, and another bar on the other side there. So you will have every opportunity to get soused while you're watching the show. What better way to watch a show? It's the best way to watch a show. <laughs> and of course there is the uh, beach, pools. A lovely beach. That blue water, isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Tonight they have a live band playing Mexican music. A lot of people come uh, for the show every night. Big crowd every night. You can see all the people here. Uh, it's fun to hang out here and have a few drinks. All kinds of different shows. Wow. I love this song. This is a big band. Yeah. Under the sea. Or beyond the sea. Yeah. It's a great song. Now they're playing some Mexican music. Yeah. It's great. It is day three, early afternoon. It was beautiful and sunny this morning, but we've got a bit of a squall happening right now. Don't worry, that doesn't ruin your trip to Mexico. Because in Mexico, these little short bursts of rain, they don't last long. And the water is very warm coming out of the sky. And quite frankly, it cools things off and feels really nice. Four days a week they have a big party. Here's the party. Yeah, here at the resort. Uh, it's pretty wild. It's um, pretty much college age stuff. So uh, we're a little bit old for this, but we're gonna show it to you. You can see, big party, it's uh, the hotel here. They put it on. These are uh, people who are staying here. Yeah. A jungle party. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. It's a Mexican song. Did you know Elvis's first guitar was blue like that? Oh, oh really? Still alive. Like his shoes, huh? Elvis, when he was 11 years old, hey. went to Tupelo Hardware Store and he bought a blue guitar. Oh, goodness. Just like that. Cool. Really? So the, the color is right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, I have no idea what's going on there. But it looks, uh, well, it looks crazy. Let's not kid ourselves. It's about 11.30 a.m. Is it too early for Jack? Jack Daniels? Right, is it too early for Jack Daniels? No? Yeah, not too early. And tequila. We'll have that in a bit. This has become my go-to bar every morning. 
It's right by the uh, adult section. And the beach is right there. Never get tired of that view. Anyway, uh, the guys here have uh, come to know me pretty well, including Jose. We have the same name. Jose, right? Yeah. Yeah, that camera is moving. Yeah. Uh, so it makes really smooth. Ah. Oh, you're moving smooth. Yeah, you see, here, like, like, point it around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See how smooth it is? Wow. Pretty awesome, huh? See. Beautiful. It's a great camera. Yeah. Aha! Yeah, yeah. yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> so you can look at yourself if you want to, or video yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. It's pretty nice. Yeah. We are at the bus stop right outside the hotel. Cancun's bus systems is one of the best in the world as far as tourist towns are concerned. They uh, run about every 10 or 15 minutes and uh, basically go in a big circle and you can get anywhere really quickly, really easily. Uh, here's the bus right now. We're gonna get on it and we'll go do some shopping. All right, we are heading towards the main shopping area of the hotel zone. Yeah, is that right, huh? Yes, whatever you said, yes. <laughs> yeah. Hard to hear you again. Well, we just got off the bus, and here's one of the natives. He has no fear of people whatsoever. What do you think he is, though? He probably wants us to give him some food. Anyway, time to look around in the shopping area. Of course, there are tons of places to buy clothing and bathing suits and other souvenirs from your time here in Cancun. I think what you're looking for is right there, huh? on the wall. Whole wall of them. She wants stuff to wear over her bikinis. We are having a snack here, Oceanside. Give you a look at the beautiful blue water of Cancun. This is the windward side of the island. No seaweed here. That's really... Really beautiful. Just love the turquoise water. Tonight we are dining in Cristal restaurant. I'm starving. I can't wait. This is what we ordered for appetizers. I ordered mushroom ragout with poached egg and truffled potato puree. Yeah, so it's basically a mashed potato. You can see the mushroom underneath and uh, the poached egg. Now Nicole ordered mixed green salad with fruit and shrimp. So let's take a look at that. Mine looks amazing. Look at the shrimp and the apples and wow I can't wait to eat it. It's like fried shrimp? Yes it is and there's some kind of nuts on there. I don't I can't really tell or seeds. I'm not sure but it looks really good. I can't wait to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> They're both so pretty. Yes. Almost too pretty to eat, aren't they? But uh, we're going to anyway. Yes, so here we go. Mine is quite good. The over easy egg, the yolk just kind of, I, want, I don't want to say exploded, but just kind of dived into the potato. They taste really good together. And the mushroom, the mushroom's kind of like an afterthought, but really interesting and very warm, very warm in the mouth. It's pretty cool. Uh, how's your salad? Mine is really good. The, the dressing is a little on the sweet side, but I like it. It's not overpowering me so. I would have wished the shrimp were a little bit warm and they were totally room temperature. That's my only complaint, but the rest of it is very good. How's that dressing? Like I said, it's just a little bit sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. Okay, cool. Here is the main courses. I ordered boneless braised short ribs with foie grass and vegetables. It's right here. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? It does. It's got that swoosh of purple 
that they have everywhere here because the whole rest uh, hotel has purple accents. Yes, it's just all purple out here. You have grilled beef filet with sautéed bulgur, wheat, yes. and apple puree. Yes, indeed. So let's take a look. It looks amazing. What do you think? The veggies look really good. I can't wait to get to that. And of course the steak. Yeah. Looks awesome. And it's got the squash of pur uh, purple too. Of course it does. They have to make it look pretty. <laughs> so, really beautiful presentations, aren't they? Yes, yes definitely. All right. Very good. Well, uh, we will dig in and give you the verdict. Yeah? The uh, roasted vegetables are quite good, but this short ribs is awesome. It's basically a fancy pot roast, is yeah. what short ribs are. But there's a lot of marbling. You're getting some little bit of fat in every bite. It gives it a lot of flavor. That's really good. Now, what do you what do you say about your fillet? Um, it's cooked a little more than I would have expected. I asked for medium rare. I got like between medium and medium well. Okay. But the flavor was still there. It was, it was okay. And um, the veggies I really liked. The sweet bulgur is something I've never had before. That's interesting. I eat some of it. We ordered a dessert that we are going to share. Praline coulant and lemon sorbet. That's praline then. That's praline and that's the lemon sorbet. We've got the little cake over here. Yeah, this is uh, the praline coulant. It's kind of like a brownie, isn't it? This sorbet, that was an explosion of flavor. It's tart. <laughs> a lot of lime. Mm -hmm. I was thinking you would have them together, but not really. They don't really go well together in the same bite. To. Yeah. They're supposed to. I mean, they're on the plate together. It seems like they would go together. But they are both really good. Yes. I like this sorbet. It's pretty awesome. Now, you can get your hair braided here. Nicole got hers done. That costs you extra. It's $30. Six dollars uh, a braid. I got five braids. Right. And then, well, this is the outfit. One of the outfits we bought for Nicole when we were shopping today. Shows a little leg, doesn't it? She looks glamorous, doesn't she? She looks like a movie star. <laughs> so dinner is over and uh, we are going to watch the show tonight. It's the ABBA show. It starts in about 20 minutes. That's all they had to say was ABBA. I'm in. I'm totally in. This is a warm-up band. No, I said ABBA and I'm like, yeah, SOS. Dancing Queen, I'm there. It's just afternoon. Nicole has finally awakened and got moving. Finally what? Nothing. You said something rude about it. Anyway, she has to have her daily coffee. They have a coffee shop here that's uh, kind of like Starbucks. Got the Starbucks thing going on. And included in the price, you can come get yourself fancy coffee. Including, or as well as, danishes and sandwiches, that kind of thing. Again, all this is included in the price. You don't pay uh, extra for this. You just come up to this counter and have them get it for you. And while it doesn't cost anything to buy it, we tip them. So we gave them, or we gave her 40 pesos, which is about $3. All right, today we are going to hang out at the Swim Up Bar. One of the best things in Mexico. All right, we are uh, in the swim-up bar. We got our drinks. We will be here for several hours. Isn't that right, Hannah? I can hear you, but I'm sure you're right. <laughs> yes, I am right. I am always right. Anyway, Nicole has got our drinks. Time to relax in the sun and the water. Yeah? Yes. All right. Day of the Dead. Nice. <laughs> All right, we are heading to dinner. You can see the hotel is hopping. It is, what time is it, about 7.40? Uh, 7.38, yep. 
7.38, okay. Uh, tonight we are having dinner in the Mexican restaurant. Yes, definitely. So we are in Mexico. Let's assume that the Mexican food is going to be killer. It better be. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Probably will be. Anyway, uh, is this it? Is this it? It's called tamales. <laughs> this I is it. This is it. Yeah. Tamales? All right. We're going to show you the Mexican restaurant right now. For appetizers, they have this hot and cold bar laid out. That's pork there, adobe uh, pork. It's fantastic. Some mole, quesadillas, and some cold stuff here too. With some fruit. It's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. In addition to the hot cold uh, buffet bar for appetizer, you can get tortilla soup, which is this right here. And I love tortilla soup, so I wanted to try it. But Nicole didn't want it. She just got cold stuff. Well, there you go. Overall, it's really good, except for one ingredient. It tastes and looks like tofu. And I just don't like tofu. But the rest of it is awesome and fantastic. We are meat eaters, no question. Unapologetically meat eaters, yes. We have ordered our main dishes. My favorite Mexican dish is Tampico. I wasn't gonna get something beef, but I can't turn down Tampico. It's right here. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks lovely. Yeah, looks really yummy. And Nicole ordered assorted fajitas, chicken and beef. So here is her tortillas. And here's her dish. They look yummy. They look totally yummy. Just waiting on sour cream. Well, yes, I haven't asked yet, but yes, I do need sour cream. Okay. Before I start on mine, let me show you what Tampico is all about. Uh, it's strip steak, seasoned Mexican style. These are refried beans and uh, rice. And this is, I don't know what this is. It's a, basically a taco with egg on it. That's a new addition, but uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. And you started working on your uh, fajitas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My Tampico beef, it's pretty good. It's a little more well done than what I like. I like my meat medium rare. Rice is good. This over easy egg on top of a fried tortilla is pretty cool. It's not bad. I honestly don't know what this is. <laughs> We've both tried it. Do we? Do you have any idea what this is? No. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not crazy about the taste. It kind of looks like onion, but I love onion. But maybe it's a pickled onion. I don't know. But overall, it's pretty good. I actually like that kind of a lot without this. But anyway, the egg part's good. And so you got fajitas. I think somebody's having a birthday. Yes, I got a chicken and beef quesadillas. They were pretty good. They were pretty good. Um, the rice was yummy, and um, chicken and beef tasted really nice with the peppers and stuff. We ordered two desserts, the eggnog jericala and uh, tres leches, pastel. So uh, I have the eggnog jericala. Looks a little different from the picture, doesn't it? But anyway, it's got ice cream, so it's going to be good. And you have the tres leches? Yes, I do. I can't How's wait it to look? dig in. It looks good. It does look good. really good. All right, we're gonna uh, give this a try. Okay. This is coconut ice cream, fantastic. With some nuts. This is flan or flan? Flan. I don't like flan or flan. <laughs> it's okay, but it's very tasteless to me. What can I say? Mm -hmm. Your tres leches, you like it? I thought it was really, really yummy. I liked it a lot. I really did. In fact, I'm gonna get that last bite if you don't. Okay. 
It is day seven, early afternoon. We slept in today. Tide went on pretty good last night. So we just got back from breakfast. What are we gonna do today? We have nothing planned. So it looks like we're just gonna hang out here at the beach and enjoy this incredible white sand and blue water. What do you guys think? Oh, check it out. One of the Cancun residents. This guy's here every day, he just kind of hangs out. It is evening time. A beautiful night tonight in Cancun. I just wanted to show you this. The full moon. What a sight. All right, tonight we are going to eat at the Japanese restaurant. It's called Kabuki. All right? Well, so here we go. How well can the Mexicans do the Japanese food? We're going to find out. They've given us a warm-up dish, gyozas with ponzu sauce. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's... Pre-appetizer. Looks like pot stickers. How is there a pre-appetizer? Alright, so this gyozas is a traditional Chinese dish, uh, widely consumed in China. It is also called a pot sticker. <laughs> and it is a dumpling, a folded dumpling with meat in it. Ours has chicken. And uh, I ate mine. You ate all yours. I saved half so I could give you guys a look at it. Yeah, that's chicken inside there. I'm gonna put a little sauce on it. But uh, it's pretty good, actually. I like it. Of course, I love pot stickers. Our appetizers are here. I'm having ramen noodle soup with duck. So here it is. So there's some duck meat right there in the middle. A lot of noodles, an egg, some onion. It smells really good. I'm gonna dive into it for a second. But here's what Nicole is having. Assortment of omakase sushi. Uh, here it is. That's really interesting looking, isn't it? Nicole has given up on the chopsticks. She switched to fork. Soup is interesting. I've been drinking this broth. It's really fishy, and it smells fishy. Of course, this is the duck, which is really good, and uh, this is spinach with the ramen noodles and carrots, and onion, and an egg. It's pretty good. Anyway, I'm on the fence with it, I'm not gonna lie. The, the fishy nature of the broth is totally throwing me off. I love spinach and noodles, I can't get on board with this broth, quite frankly. Nicole decided to eat some of my ramen noodles. They're okay? It's that broth. It's kind of weird, huh? It's fishy. Even though this is a... It's, yeah, even though this is a duck dish. Our entrees are here. I ordered roasted salmon with sakyo miso and asparagus. You guys see the picture? Here's how it came. Looks good. That looks like spinach on top. The salmon looks really good. And you can see a little bit of asparagus underneath. Alright, so Nicole ordered seared tuna with sesame and pistachio served with yakimeshi rice. So here's how it looks. It's um, pretty in it. My salmon was delicious. <laughs> so delicious. But you can that see I had to steal it. Yeah, you can see that it's in front of Nicole now. I stole it. 
because she likes it better than her dish. The tuna. Even though it was very good. Seared tuna. But I have to be honest with you, I think this is pretty freaking good. I'm not not enjoying it. Not as good as the salmon. We're gonna share a dessert. Matcha tea cassutera sponge cake with mango ice cream. Here it is. I love when you try to pronounce Spanish words. This is not Spanish words, honey. This is Japanese words. All right, that's what I'm trying to pronounce. This uh, mango ice cream doesn't taste like ice cream at all, does it? It tastes like sherbet. Sherbet. Yeah. But I thought it was really, really good. Very, a very mango explosion in your mouth. <laughs> very but very flavorful. citrus, right? Very, yes, and very flavorful. Yeah. The tea or tea sponge cake, it's okay. Not, did, not near as good. This is the sports bar. This is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All the major sport events are played here. It also has alcohol and food available 24 hours a day. Mostly though, it's for people in the middle of the night who want something to eat, you know, two or three in the morning. They have some pastries here, but it's mostly bar food. Sandwiches, cold sandwiches, and fruit. Fixins to make nachos and salads, and hot dogs. Uh, I believe they have burgers here. Yep, there's hamburgers. That is, uh, chicken nuggets and they have some potatoes so you know you're partying away probably younger two three in the morning you want a little snack this is where you come uh, the hotel has food available 24 hours a day which is pretty amazing and alcohol it is morning number nine it's pretty early about 8.45. You can see all the people who work here getting ready for the day. Bartender setting up the swim up bar. It's looking like yet another gorgeous day here. Again, we're going to just be lazy and hang around the resort. There's so much to do at a place like this. They have each day packed with activities. All right, we have one more restaurant to visit. The Italian restaurant. Yeah? What? I, I hadn't heard you. No, I was just saying we have more, uh, one more restaurant to visit. The Italian restaurant. Okay. All right, so I'm following you. Let's go in. Me? Let's go have some uh, Italian food. Now here in the Italian restaurant, appetizers are, well they have a bar here, cold and warm food, so you just come get what you want, salad fixings, pizza, different pastas. <laughs> the staff letting us know there's going to be a show tonight, right? Alright, these are the entrees we ordered. Nicole got rustic Florentine lamb. Mm -hmm. Looks so good. I got braised asabuca with red wine sauce, or in red wine sauce. Now, asabuca is veal. Okay. So it's. I think uh, I want to try that rice. Yeah, it looks really good, doesn't it? Asabuca. This is Nicole's lamb. Yes, that looks so good. So. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So mine is fantastic. Veal is a baby calf, so it's already really tender and slow cooked, and you can really taste it. I mean, it's like fall off the fork. Tender. Her lamb is quite good too, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's so very good. All right, dessert is a well, it's a dessert bar. 
So you just come get what you want. You can see all the choices here. I'm trying to decide what I want. Over here they have some marshmallows, cookies, cones, and ice cream. And they got everything here. All right, we got some tiramisu. Looks good, huh? That looks amazing. And uh, hazelnut ice cream. The verdict is the tiramisu is really good, but this hazelnut ice cream, fantastic, huh? I said, <laughs> awesome. All right, everyone. It is our tenth day here, our last day. Now you're probably wondering, how much does all this cost? Well, before I tell you, keep in mind what you get. All the food you can eat, all the alcohol, and of course regular soft drinks, that kind of thing that you can drink, it's all included. A uh, buffet available early in the morning till late in the evening. Was it six or seven sit down fine dining style restaurants? Sports bar, which is open 24 7, which has food 24 7. All kinds of entertainment. You know, they uh, have activities all day, every day available. Things like volleyball and, you know, they do silly stuff too. Of course, there is a couple of shows every night. The big party, we showed you that. They have that four days a week. What would that cost you in the U.S., let's say on a beach in Florida or California? How much would all that cost you a day? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, tipping. Keep in mind, you don't have to tip here if you don't want to. Tips are included as well. You can come to this resort, walk on site, and not spend another penny if you don't want to. Now, we tip. We usually throw a couple bucks per drink, and then we'll throw a $20 tip for the restaurants, you know, for the server. But you don't have to if you don't want to. It is technically all included. Well, here is the receipt for our trip. It's not bad if you think about it. I mean, under $300 a night. It came out to $3,700 total. But wait a minute, you're saying flights. You gotta add that in, and you're right. Uh, our flight here was $1,120, round trip. But we'll just say $4,800 total bill to come down here. So that's $480 a night, which is kind of pricey, but again, you get a lot. You couldn't stay at a hotel in Florida or California and eat and drink all day for $480 a night. Or you could, but not in a place as nice as this. Now we didn't pay this much. We saved all our miles from our credit cards over the year and applied it to the bill. So we actually only paid out of pocket $2,200 for this trip. So that's uh, not bad at all, really. So there's that. What do you guys think? Well, let me know. All right, we are back to our home hotel in Dallas. Yay, home hotel. So the Cancun trip is over. We will be heading to rural Texas next. So be looking for those.